Hey guys, I am so, are y'all so over painting pumpkins? I'm so over it. Everyone's painting pumpkins online and I was like, I just can't come up with another way to paint, to paint a dang pumpkin. I don't want to paint a pumpkin. So let me give you a little background. I'm a furniture painter. I love Halloween. One of the reasons is, is because I had a Halloween, a Halloween baby. I had my daughter born on Halloween day. We've just always been big celebrators of her birthday and we love to dress up and we just love Halloween. So I said, hey Matt, which is my husband and I call him Mr. Fancy. Hey, would you build me a coffin? <laughs> and he was like, for what? And I said, I need a coffin. I'm gonna do a live video on Monday. And he's like, well, what are you gonna do with it after that? I said, I guess we get to keep it. It's, it's gonna be ours. We're gonna decorate with it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Look how, look how big it is, y'all. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's pretty big. What's the weirdest, strangest thing that you've ever painted with anything, anything strange that you've ever painted that was really weird? I would love for you to post that in the comments. So this is what I've done so far. Of course, I pull out all my Dixie Belle paints and uh, Matt's, Matt's building, I'm designing in my head and he finished it up in no time flat at all. It does not open, but we have a really cool like head with hair that we're gonna put in here and it's gonna look like it's standing inside there. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but the inside I painted in um, amethyst, which is a gorgeous purple. You see that? It's gorgeous. This is amethyst. I use it actually very often because I paint with a lot of bright colors. So I wanted the inside to be purple. I use a lot of purple when I decorate for Halloween. Not a lot of black and orange. I do a lot of lime and purple and um, black and white. Um, I painted the entire thing white. I used fluff. It's my favorite white. I use it for everything. But I didn't prime this because, you know, it's just, it's a theater piece. <laughs> and this is the sides and then i did big 10 inch i love i love 10 inches in stripes when i do big bold stripes i i just always go with 10 inches i don't know why the black is caviar don't you love it it's very um what is it uh oh my gosh the black and white stripes and the halloween what what oh my gosh i'm drawing an absolute and complete total menopausal mind blank beetlejuice yes beetlejuice is very beetlejuice and i had matt add this trim to the outside and then he also added this rope trim because i want to do harlequin pattern in the middle so we're going to talk a lot about this harlequin pattern they are very very striking it's a beautiful pattern to paint i do harlequin or check on almost every single project that i do you know tape is my friend but for the harlequin pattern it makes me crazy so i'm going to be very very honest with you guys i don't tape my harlequin patterns usually almost 98 point nine percent of the time i don't tape my harlequin patterns it makes me crazy i don't do math well at all i do not do math i don't like it i don't it just it just bothers me and have to measure my diamonds and space it out and using my leveler this is what all i had to use i had to use my level i had to use my ruler i had to use my eraser a lot I had to use my pencil. It's just a lot of work. And then after I do all that measuring, then after you get it all done, then you have to tape it off. And that takes time. To me, by the time you've done all the marking, measuring, taping, messing up, erasing, um, you could have just done my way. But this is not my way, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. What I did was I decided I wanted a diamond about this big, right here, about that big, okay? I just drew one. Uh, I drew this one actually right here at the very top in the middle of my center of my design So I drew it then I measured across here how far apart those were and how far down and anyway I drew a couple and then I just used my uh, Level here and connected the dots and went this way and that way and taped it. I can't I cannot be the teacher of that I'm sorry. This is what I normally do. I Cut a diamond out This is a uh, cardstock I cut a diamond out of cardstock. First, I start with a real thin piece of paper and I measure how wide I want it to be and how tall. You, and then I fold my paper in half so that it's perfect and cut my diamond. And then I trace it onto a piece of cardstock and I cut my cardstock. That's what I do. So I've been telling people this forever. I don't measure it out, it makes me crazy. And it works. Have y'all seen my stuff? I mean, my Harlequins look great and I don't 
tape them. I do this the kindergarten way. Plus, I'm a nurse and I'm a mom. And you know what? We 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 just learn how to adapt to, and we're resourceful. And this is my resource. So, and I was crazy last night, y'all. I I almost. This is the second set of tape, the first set of tape I messed up. And look, here's another one. These are old. I didn't use this one today, obviously. I did this method, which made me want to shoot myself. When you do decide to tape it, you do mark um, which diamond you're going to be taping for because doesn't it look off? It looks really off. In order to get perfect lines, just like on the stripe, we need to seal it or it's also called burnish. So that's all done. Now I'm going to take my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you need to get one. The Dixie Bell's paint dries super fast and really smooth and it allows you just to really move your project along quickly and then in, in addition to that if you throw a little bit of uh, heat to it, man you can knock out a project in no time. Alright, I'm going to use my bigger brush and it's already got black on it and we'll just start right here. And some people also ask me why I don't use a stencil. If you buy a stencil, first of all, they don't make Harlequins in that many different sizes. But if you buy a stencil, um, you're stuck to just that one size. And I like to make mine different for every single project. Can y'all believe I'm painting a coffin? And I'll have a blog post on it. If you don't follow me on my blog, you guys, be sure and join me on my website. It is tracysfancy.com. Every week we have a project that goes out, every single week. So you just get one newsletter a week. All right, I'm going right. Isn't this nice that I had Matt add this trim to the inside? I wanted the stripes to come around from the side. See how that came around and this is going to come around? And then I wanted it to be uh, framed out in the middle. And I'm going to take the tape off and let you guys see how it looks with just the one set of diamonds. Look at that. Look how perfect my diamonds look. Now what do you do is you go and you tape on top of your black diamonds. You, you tape it all exactly the same, but you tape over your black diamonds, then that allows you to paint this, these. I would take my tape and I would start here and I would lay it across my diamonds like that. See it's under there, see that? So I'd want to literally tape on top of my diamond that way and then come to this side and tape on top of my diamond that way and then the same thing this way and this way all the way across all of them. And then you would um, be left with large diamonds again and you would take your white paint and paint the edges of those so you seal it so you get nice crisp diamonds and then um, fill it in black and then take that off and then all of your diamonds will be touching and you'll have perfect diamonds and you won't have any bleed through. So let me give you another little another little hint. When you are using pencil on white paint, a lot of times your pencil will smear. Um, if you use one of these white rubber erasers, not the pink erasers, it's called Magic Rub, but it's white. There is a trick to that. I don't know why, but it will erase that. That is an art eraser I got in the art department um, at Hobby Lobby. That's where I bought this one. Let's talk about these molds, you guys. These molds right here, This I used this one on this project, and this is a large one. They're silicone, they're super floppy and rubbery. These molds are great to add a depth and dimension, and just, uh, they're just like candy. Oh, first of all, you can see how pretty the purple is now, the amethyst, isn't that amethyst gorgeous? These are those molds. I made those molds right there, and they are stuck like Chuck. Let me tell you, I glued them on, they're stuck like crazy. I painted right over them. Isn't that pretty though, how it adds depth and what I'm going to do is highlight it. Let's get out our Dixie Belle gilding wax. You see that right there? Tiny little tub. I love it. And this is what it looks like. Pretty, 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 right? What a gorgeous, very gothic. This is very gothic Halloween look I'm getting out of this and it's fancy. Now I'm probably going to do some gold drips running down from this. I won't use the paste to do that. What a difference. Sweet. Thanks y'all so much for being here. This was so much fun. I love sharing this crazy, crazy fun project with you. It was really fun to not paint, to not paint furniture for once. <laughs> Y'all take care. Y'all have a wonderful week. Stay warm and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Someone please get married and call me and say that you want me to be your wedding decorator for Halloween. Someone please do that.